Oh my god. god. <laughs> the worst WWE women's gear. This screenshot of Melina <laughs> makes her look naked. This was when she won Royal Rumble. The flowers, bitch, are throwing me off. This is literally the battle of the cameras. <laughs> These are both really bad. <laughs> Welcome to Great Dream Bell, this is DS, and we've got a very special episode with Kimura Hall that you've been all asking for. We are going to crown the ugliest gear. <laughs> the worst WWE women's gear oh, ever. The queen is back, Kimura Hall from RuPaul's Red Race is here! Thank you for having me, DS. As always, I'm excited to play this new game. We always get Kimura Hall once a year, and everyone's like, we want more Kimura! So we're like, okay, okay, so I thought of something new. So I had people submit their least favorite gears of all time. I already have some of mine already. <laughs> <laughs> and I made it into a tournament style so we can pick which one is indeed the worst gear of all time for women's wrestling. Ooh, this should be interesting. This is just our opinion. We're just having fun. Who gives a f what we think? You know, <laughs> all the fun and games. We love everybody. All right, let's go for it. So this is on Picker. I'll leave the link down below so you can also play it too. So let's see if you guys agree with our picks. Okay, oh my god. All right. Starting with the first round. <laughs> you don't... <laughs> I honestly don't hate the one on the left either. Oh, Naomi? Yeah, Naomi. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of giving me drag costume too. I can see a drag queen wearing this. So it's like, it's a lot. Wait, we're picking who's We're who's picking worse? the worst. Oh, okay, okay. We're picking the worst. The one on the right. Maybe. Because I feel like we've seen it. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's nothing like special. Just tell me who you are. Have you ever played WWE games? Absolutely. Yeah, create a wrestler. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> I would play the uh, the one on a Nintendo 64. Oh, yeah. And I would always create Luna <laughs> on there. Yes. This is giving a default outfit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Mandy wins. Ooh, this is, <laughs> is this recent? This is Becky Lynch from This WrestleMania. So she recently had a book. So she had the pages of her book it's on giving, her gear. It reminds me when drag queens perform This Is Me on oh. The Greatest Showman. And they have a bunch of letters and hate words on their dress. <laughs> this is not a good thing. So I'm just saying, like, Becky Lynch wins. Okay. I hate it. I'm, honestly, they're both pretty bad. I also hate Nikki's. Is this like Dragon Ball? Yes! Oh my god, it's giving me Dragon Ball Z from, like, Lover's Lane. You know, like, for foreplay. So Becky. Yeah, I... I just can't. The, okay. I just can't. Ooh, my we got God. <laughs> we got the me. one on the left already. I don't, I don't even need to like. What do you think of this Charlotte gear? This was her, her big return gear, and she made it a little like, I don't know, almost like Nina Williams almost. But when you put it next to this, <laughs> this is giving me six year old child pretending to be Superman. Yes, I mean, that, yeah, was, right. that, that was her gimmick. Yeah. Are you serious? Who in the writing room gave her that? Her gimmick was ASH, almost a superhero. Girl, bye. <laughs> That one wins. Hey, Nikki. Guys, it's already May, and it's usually around this time I get really self-conscious because the beach time is coming up, pride, all the party. I'm going to be like, Katana and Kaden. This is a time I want my beach body ready, but the only thing is I freaking hate cardio. I absolutely hate cardio. I love doing weights, but cardio is just so boring to me. It's just so long and tedious. Like, I tried to sign up for some classes, like Zumba class, but it was just, like, embarrassing. And the classes are so early usually. Then, here comes the save. Yesol reached out to me and they just sent me their G1 Plus bike, the best Peloton alternative. And guys, I'm shocked to report to you that I went from doing zero cardio to 30 minutes of biking every day. Every day! That never happened in my entire life. So I had this guy for like a week and I'm loving it. Honestly, the best part about it is this screen. So the bike comes with this big full HD screen that you can kind of tilt it around to with 360 degree sound speaker with mirroring features so you can cast whatever YouTube videos or Netflix. I've been binging this K-drama called Queen of Tears every day on this bike. I get on this bike to watch this drama. And of course, I've been watching all my daily wrestling shows on the bike. I used to watch it on my bed, just like lying down. And now I bike while watching, so I feel great about myself. And it's literally like first week of me biking ever. So my legs are kind of sore, but it's okay even for a beginner bikers like me, because you can change the intensity very easily with this 100 magnetic resistance level. So hopefully I'll get a little bit stronger over time. It's also super quiet, so I had no problem working out whenever I want, in the morning, during night. And the design is so sleek, I love the look of this bike. I really can't believe how much I hated cardio before, but with this, I'm almost like Michelle McCool love in life. I can almost like distract myself with Netflix or YouTube while doing cardio, so I feel really good about myself to be honest. And my favorite part of all, you know I'm a frugal queen. The price is unbeatable compared to like Peloton. Yesol is so affordable. And just for you guys, Ring the Bell fam, use the code Ring the Bell or link in the description section below for $100 off. And I'm gonna make an update video about a month from now to see I'm doing with it. So fingers crossed, so far I'm loving it. <laughs> no.
You know what I said? Yeah. I already had some outfits I buyed. <laughs> it's freaking Molly Holly it's on my list. Like, I don't understand why they mm-hmm. always desexualize Molly so much. That was a gimmick. And I'm, I'm not saying every female wrestler has to be sexual, but like, they just made her look so like... Plain. Plain. Yeah. Like, she didn't even look like she was going to wrestle. She looked like she was the principal walking to the lunchroom, <laughs> breaking up a fight. And so I never really understood that, mm. but it's either the TJ Maxx outfit or this. <laughs> So which one? Uh, Molly is okay. wins. I mean, come on. Molly wins. She doesn't look like she's gonna wrestle. We got Molina and Rhea Ripley. This screenshot of Molina <laughs> makes her look naked. Uh, it looks like she's just wearing like a pasty. I know. It was a new, <laughs> new delusion. Who, whoever submitted, whoever submitted, this was shady. This is a new delusion here. <laughs> Um, so we're picking which one's worse. Which, one, which one's worse? So Rhea here in this photo, she like forgot her, or she lost her bag or something, so she had to like buy stuff. She had to buy I stuff. I could see it. <laughs> but honestly, I think Melina's worse. Yeah. It's just... That one's... <laughs> yeah. All the eyes go to... <laughs> Ooh, so we got Lana and Tori. Okay. I think Lana when people did it because of the, the I, shorts. I would have loved Lana's, except for those like biker shorts. It's not needed. Yeah. However, <laughs> is this Tori? Yeah. My god, throwback. It's giving me drag queen costume as well. You know, the airbrush, uh, tiger print. The sleeves aren't even fitted. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was so confused about that outfit. In WrestleMania? She looks like she's about to go perform in Cats, the musical. <laughs> They're both pretty bad. But this one you can fix it with just, if you just get rid of that shorts. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna say Tori wins this round. Mm. <laughs> The funny thing is, they both look like they're about to go to bed. Because <laughs> she has an eye mask, yeah. and she has a face mask. This round is interesting because it's both their gimmick. So her gimmick is that she wears, like, sleeping... Yeah. yeah. Carmella was that. She had a face injury, so she was covering with... She looks dumb. I'm gonna give it to Carmella. <laughs> she looks dumb. Eva Marie and Vicky. I think her outfit says it all. Excuse me. <laughs> Vicky wins this one. We got Iconics and Mandy Rose. They're both kind of, like similar like <laughs> and you know like i think iconics is worse is it yeah i just is feel like like britney inspired britney now or britney back then like <laughs> uh which britney my eyes are more drawn to her another creative wrestler yeah there. it is but yeah. i mean they're both to me are very mm. generic in my opinion for me it's i think they're iconic okay. iconic yeah and it's not iconic i'm sorry <laughs> Oh my god, I get, are these both Molly? I swear to god. No, this is Molly and Cherry. Molly looks like, again, she just left the PTA. <laughs> and Cherry looks like she just left hot yoga. These are both really bad. <laughs> this is giving like church. <laughs> oh my god. She's going to church. She's going to church and she just left yoga class. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, you need to pick, I can't. They're both, you pick one. Pick Molly. One. Molly. Oh, Molly. This is iconic. <laughs> that po- that pose, that pose is not helping her at all. Right. She looks like, you know that meme, it's like, when your parents catch you in the kitchen night with a glass of water. Like, uh, Tamina looking like... No, hers is the worst. Really? She looks like a Tide Pod. This looks like, um, what's it called? Like Slim Jim. <laughs> I love me a gas station Slim Jim. No, but I'm gonna say, Ren. it's a Tide Pod. Another Tamina representation <laughs> with Sarah Logan. Sarah Logan's worst. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Bianca Belair and Mandy Rose. I like... Bianca's better. Mandy Rose, right? Yeah. Looks more generic. Yeah. So I'm gonna give that a her wins. I don't know what happened with this era of Mandy Rose. Like she's usually a fashion queen and she decided to be a serious wrestler or something. I don't know. Her hair looks nicely slicked back. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the outfit, no. So, Tamina and Ronda Rousey. So, this was when she won Royal Rumble. And that's what she wanted to wear? <laughs> yeah. And of course, Tamina, um... And that's what she wanted to wear? She looked like she got that at Target. <laughs> Tamina. Okay. I, I just, the flowers, bitch, are throwing me off. Like, why? It is Becky Lynch and Becky Lynch. <laughs> that is shady. <laughs> It's the one on the left for me. Yeah. That one's the worst. And the hair, no. Another- this was nominated for a bad outfit. I don't I don't hate it actually. Mm. I could see like a like a female like artist performer. Mm. Like Cardi B or something wear this. She looks like she's wearing a neck brace. No. No. I mean I can I can see it, but like that's more interesting to me mm-hmm. than what are the f she's wearing on the right. <laughs> She's giving Jean Grey. Yes, yeah. she's giving me like AliExpress, Jean Grey, <laughs> Madeline Pryor. Becky. <laughs> Becky. She's Becky. All right, we are in the next round. Ooh. Oh my God, this is so funny. I think Melina wins this one. <laughs> it, just, it just looks so funny. It just like, <laughs> there's no dimension. See, when you wear a nude illusion outfit like this, you have to contour it still. You need to oh, airbrush it. Okay. You need to yeah, airbrush contours. Otherwise it just looks 
flat. <laughs> she at least did that. Yeah. Tori see, did that. Yeah, see, right. She needs to do what Tori did. <laughs> My God. It's like they're both looking at something. Yeah, <laughs> right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the one on the right. Okay, right. Ty Pod wins this one. <laughs> Ren wins it. I actually gotta say, I love Carmela's gear here. Yeah, I wanna say the one on the right. Yeah. It's just, at least this, this has something going for it. <laughs> Becky Lynch wins. That's a strong photo. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Not both to the target fits up against each other. I hate Tamina's. Yeah. Honestly. <laughs> oh my god. Molly wins Molly. this one. Come on. At least Becky had like a concept. Molly looks like she's gonna go yell at Becky <laughs> being in her yard. She looks like a Karen. The one on the left. So okay. your girl. This is bad. Oh my god. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Okay. Okay. We're in the <laughs> third round. This is so funny. Okay. Honestly, I hate. <laughs> They're both bad. This is an eyesore, but she doesn't even look like she's about to wrestle. Yeah. So I think Tamina wins Tamina. this one. Tamina. The Thai Pod girl. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. I think the Thai Pod one's worse because she, because Becky actually looks like she's gonna wrestle. Oh, I see. I see. I see. This was at WrestleMania. This one, see, like I don't know what the <laughs> f she's doing. <laughs> Like, she looked like she went to yoga, lost half her leg somewhere. <laughs> oh my god. It has to be Vicky. Oh, wow. <gasps> you think Melina's worse? It literally looked like she just had a patch. <laughs> <laughs> a little sticker. But you're no, I think it's Vicky. Okay. Vicky wins this for me. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like whoever goes up against Molly is just gonna instantly lose. Molly takes the game. <sighs> is this semi-finals? Semi-finals. Semi semi-finals. I think Tamina wins. <laughs> okay, wow. Cause at least like that outfit was. Crying. It looks like a Target romper. Yeah, the outfit was crime. I don't know who mm -hmm. thought that was a good idea. <laughs> Although it represents her Samoan heritage. That's lovely, but this is a wrestling match. <laughs> oh. This is literally the battle of the cameras. <laughs> at least Vicky's wearing a gear. You know what? At least Vicky is like ready to fight. She has her branding. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> she knows she's gonna work a sweat. Yeah. Whereas Molly doesn't know what she's gonna get. Did she just leave the Maz class? Like, I don't, like, what? Okay, it's Molly. Okay. All right, we've got the finale right here. <laughs> Drum roll, please! Oh my god, it's the battle of the target fits. <laughs> Molly versus Tamina! I think we know who the winner is. Who? Molly Holly. <laughs> you know, Molly's my girl. She'll always be my number one bitch in wrestling and bad fashion. You know what? I don't really blame Molly. I blame the writers. I blame like the creative team. He yeah. said, you know what? We're gonna put this blouse on you. Good for her though. Back in the days, other girls had to shop in stripper shops. And they let her go to Ross. <laughs> she just went to Ross. DJ Max. Yeah. Yeah. Walmart. Good for her. She could just like go wherever and get whatever she needed. <laughs> <laughs> she put that on her Target card. Yes! <laughs> good point. Well, there we go. Our worst gear of all time is Molly Holly. This was honestly so much fun. <laughs> I really liked rating the worst wrestling gear. That was... Yeah. This is hilarious. This has to come back. This but also hilarious. the thing is, now, like, they have seamstress and a lot of, like, wrestling gear designers. Lately, we're not seeing as terrible gears. Yeah, Molly. Congratulations, Congratulations Molly. Congratulations, Molly. We love you, Molly. Um, but what's your thought on the worst gear of the pro wrestling industry? <laughs> Let us know. know in the comment section below. And you can also play this game, and we'll see what the results say. We can check later and see if they agree with us. All right, Kamora, where can we all find you? You can find me on all social media platforms at Kamora Hall. You can find me at DSN on Instagram and Ring the Bell DS on Twitter. All right, see you next time. Bye.